In the Loud House, things can be, well, loud. But underneath all of the noise, there are some subtle references to other great Nickelodeon shows you may have missed on your first watch through. There are quite a few nods to our favorite Pineapple Dwelling Sponge, as well as some classic Nick shows from way back when. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. For a long time, everyone knew what the number one Nickelodeon show was, SpongeBob SquarePants. Then along came The Loud House to overtake the show in the ratings. But don't worry, the series found plenty of ways to pay tribute to our favorite sea sponge. Check out this scene from Friend or Foe. In this episode, Lisa got an F in social skills and has to make a new friend to boost her grade. I made one. Do you notice anything aquatic in the background? If you weren't thrown off by the fish tank, you may have spotted a poster featuring some of our favorite ocean creatures, including a crab, starfish, squid, and a sponge? There's no way this poster isn't an homage to Mr. Krabs, Patrick Starr, Squidward Tentacles, and SpongeBob SquarePants himself. Now, let's take a look back to the very first episode of The Loud House. This series wasted no time when it came to incorporating hidden references for fans to spot. Check out what happens when the kids fight over the remote control. If you keep your eyes open on the television screen, you'll see that at one point a familiar looking show featuring a smiling sponge and starfish appear. They may look more like Doodle Bob versions, but they're definitely supposed to be SpongeBob and Patrick making a guest appearance. For this next SpongeBob SquarePants slash Loud House crossover, you'll need to listen up. We spent the entire first season of the series unable to get a glimpse of her entire face, but it's her voice we should be paying attention to now. Listen out loud, hosted by me, read aloud. Does that sound familiar to you? It's the kind of voice you might also picture emerging from a robot created by a maniacal little plankton. Well, if it isn't my thieving husband, so did you bring me the... Voice actress Jill Talley provides the voice for both Rita Loud and Karen Plankton from SpongeBob. Plankton is used to being overshadowed by SpongeBob and the success of the Krusty Krab, but he's actually had multiple references in the Loud House as well. During Luann's episode of Listen Out Loud, she goes over ways to prank your friends and family using her own siblings as examples. In addition to teaching preparation, execution, escalation, and escape, she also mentions a prank that involves a bucket and chum. She's definitely talking about Plankton's less than successful restaurant, the Chum Bucket. Chum is fun! What the? How much attention do you really pay to the cute Loud House title cards? Let's test your episode name knowledge by talking about one called Out of the Picture. Do you see any SpongeBob connections here? In this episode, Lisa is devastated over a soon-to-be-published photo of her that she desperately doesn't want included in the yearbook. Coach Bukowski ruined my life! He took the worst photo of me ever! Out of the Picture is also the name of a SpongeBob episode, in which Mr. Krabs wants to sell Squidward's art without having the artist himself involved. As if the episode titles weren't enough, both of these episodes aired the same year, in 2017. It's time for another round of Guess That Voice Actor. Can you spot the SpongeBob crossover this time? We'll start with the voice of SpongeBob's troublesome cousin, Blackjack, who we met in Season 5. Did you come here to quiver like a jellyfish? Any guesses? You just heard the voice of John DiMaggio, who voices several Loud House characters, including Chunk, Flip, and Mr. Grouse. I'd like to be alone with my lasagna. Even if you don't recognize his name, his voice may sound familiar since he also voices Bender on Futurama, King Zog on Disenchantment, and many other popular characters. Dude, come on, man. You're totally math. You may have to hit the pause button this time because there are a ton of Nickelodeon references in the episode Link or Swim when the Louds head to the pool. There are quite a few elderly characters sitting poolside. Do you recognize any of them? These are some classic Nick characters, some more beloved than others. There's Lou Pickles, Tommy's grandfather from Rugrats, as well as Grandpa Phil from Hey Arnold. And who could forget everyone's favorite, Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender? There are also a couple of teachers enjoying their summer breaks, including Miss Fowl from Jimmy Neutron and Miss Bitters from Invader Zim. How many of these did you recognize? Some of these references are pretty hard to spot, and we have a feeling that this could be an unofficial one. In the episode Space Invader, Lincoln reveals in the fact that he doesn't have to share his bedroom just before having to bunk with Lynn for the night. Can you see anything unusual when Lincoln is tidying up his space? When he empties the trash can, you can see a smiling starfish on the side of the bucket. It doesn't look exactly like Patrick Starr, but it does look similar to when he appeared in the first episode of The Loud House. Is this a reference, or are we just seeing SpongeBob characters everywhere?
If you're a fan of classic Nickelodeon shows, then you definitely appreciated the Loud House episode, Legends. This entire episode paid tribute to the beloved Nickelodeon game show, Legends of the Hidden Temple, which did indeed have a team called the Orange Iguanas. All aboard, Orange Iguanas! Next stop, Orlando! Contestants competed in challenges to gain entry to the Hidden Temple and a try for the chance to win prizes by completing the obstacle course. If they could get past the Shrine of the Silver Monkey, Listen up! Fans of The Loud House know there's a lot of music going on in this show, but for now, we're going to focus on what follows the theme song of The Loudest Yard. We're going to show, save, get the crown, save the town, and miss the crown. This one goes way back, so it's understandable if you didn't recognize now that they're men. This tune was also featured in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie from 2004. Now that we're men, we can do anything now that we're men. Here's an even older classic reference for you. So think back to those evenings watching Nick at Night. In the Loud House episode, The Butterfly Effect, Lola gets hit in the face with a ball, which causes her nose to swell up. This happened to another famous fictional character. Do you know who? We're talking about Marsha Brady, who was struck in the face under similar circumstances on The Brady Bunch and in The Brady Bunch movie. Ready? Oh my nose! Growing up in a big family means there's space at a premium. And this is something Lincoln is well aware of. In the episode The Sweet Spot, he decides to stake out the back seat in order to get the best spot possible during his family's road trip. Clever! But do you notice anything interesting about this scene? Feet off the seat! Lincoln is reading a magazine that says Giant Sub with a picture of a yellow submarine. Now, this could be a reference to the famous Beatles song, Yellow Submarine, or it could be yet another SpongeBob Easter egg. After all, we've seen Sandy get around underwater using one of those devices more than once. Yeehaw! Here's another title card test. Which famous Nickelodeon show also has an episode entitled Oh Brother? If you guessed Dexter's Laboratory, you're right! In The Loud House, Lincoln wishes he had 10 brothers instead of 10 sisters, and Lisa shows him what that could look like. Spoiler alert, it's not the best. Dexter only has a single sister, but she manages to cause about 10 siblings worth of damage to his laboratory. What does this button do? Dexter decides to turn Dee Dee into a boy and discovers things with his siblings really can get worse. In the episode Attention Deficit, Lincoln feels overlooked among his own family and turns to Clyde's fathers for some much needed encouragement. But when Lincoln finally gets the chance to show off his volcano to his own family, you might see something interesting among his materials. What do you see here? You may have noticed the bottle of glue which says tough, and this could be a reference to the cartoon Tough Puppy. Ready for another nod to a cartoon from way back? Check out the Loud House episode, Come Sail Away, in which the family takes part in a yearly tradition. I haven't had a win in forever, but that changes today. It's our annual garage sale. Lincoln is determined to sell the most stuff, and when he sets up his display, you may see something familiar. Any guesses? That moose wearing hockey gear looks an awful lot like the cartoon character Bullwinkle. Nickelodeon had their own version of this classic character on the show Bullwinkle's Moosarama. My, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. Did you manage to spot any of these references on your own when watching The Loud House? There are tons of great Nickelodeon Easter eggs, so let us know about any we may have missed in the comment section below. Make sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more new videos from us here at The Things. Bye for now!